Hello and welcome back to yet another video and in today's video we are taking a very slight detour, a slight break from looking at Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2 stuff and we're going to be going back and looking at some Final Fantasy stuff because uh, yes at the moment we are having a big deep dive into Guild Wars and Tyrion and into that side of the world but before that um, if you did subscribe or have been subscribed for a, a little bit longer uh, you'll know that we were very, very much into our Final Fantasy XIV, and of course that does also mean that we're going to be very, very much into our Final Fantasy XVI, as of course um, Yoshi P is the director of both games, and I have reacted to the, the last trailer that they did, but a couple of days ago they released the Final Fantasy XIV Ambition for the PlayStation 5. And this is definitely a game that we're going to be looking at and probably playing in the future when it comes out. I just need to get a PS5 <laughs> um, to be able to play it. Um, but I'm sure I can do that in time, hopefully. So, yeah, so this is the Ambitions... Um, yeah, this is the Ambitions trailer. I've, I saw the last one they did. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, I'm a big, big fan of Final Fantasies in general. I'm a big, big fan of Final Fantasy XIV. I'm a big, big fan of Yoshi P and all of his work. So uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this trailer goes down and what more things we see. Now, I, to be honest, look, I have not. I've looked at some trailers. I've not looked at any deep dive videos into what things mean. So a lot of what I say is going to be speculative. It could be wrong. Feel free to correct me in the, um, the comments below, which is fine. But just bear in mind, like, I, I don't know everything. Um, but anyway, uh, having said... Oh, these intros are just getting longer and longer. But uh, um, having said all of that, please do like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can see through the videos that we're doing, we're doing a lot of stuff on, you know, MMOs and RPGs. And uh, so we've got lots of content coming on the way. So please do subscribe so you're here for that. And do also follow me on Twitch as well, because we are streaming lots and lots of uh, MMOs. We're streaming Guild Wars at... Guild Wars 2 at the moment, so do follow along for that. But anyway, having said all of that, let's open this up and we're going to look at the Final Fantasy 16 Ambitions Ambition trailer. Uh, for those of you who are, who are new subscribers to the channel, the way that we do trailers, like other videos, obviously I pause with trailers, we're going to watch it all the way through without stopping, and then we'll go back afterwards. Okay, so alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Book. It has been 1,500 years since the fall of our forebears. And Valathia has been slowly dying ever since. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, we're, further now, but we're in the middle of the Deadlands. I suck this place dry. We need no trees, no birds, and no matching. Darkness spreads as day gives way to Damn. twilight. That looks so Mother's good. Flame now all Look at those crystals. <gasps> crystal tower? Is that you? Without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. Oh, I, I love how the Thebes cross over. Joshua. But who shall claim their fading light? The Grand Duchy of Rosaria, Bastion of Tradition. Okay, okay. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. The Holy Empire of San Breck. Wow, that looks where so good. Where ambition is divine. This looks amazing. The Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. All shall bow before their emperor. The Dalmechian Republic, whose fortunes shift with the desert sands. And what of our wives? Very interesting. Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos wow. it might reap. The Iron Kingdom forged in faith and fear. Their souls were sullied with the stain of ether. This game looks amazing. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. Or the Kingdom of Wulud, indomitable in its isolation. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. And as the fringes fade, the people of light. to the mother <laughs> is that, crystals. Is that you? From a single spark, will the land ignite? In the year 860. I love this. I'm... The Imperial Army will march across yeah, yeah, this that... area. 
Jeez. And from the slaughter shall a new shadow rise. Ifrit? Yeah. To fall upon the dominance, painting their destinies black as night. Yes, Phoenix. Our ability to summon beasts of great might should command respect, but instead, as she does outcasts. Titan, I'm guessing. So they embody the, the primals. What makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. I'll crush them! The music is amazing, by the way. Oh, wow, yes, yeah, in their DNA. Shiva. Damn, that looks so cool. It just looks amazing. I can't. I, I don't even know what to say. It is you who shall bow to me. Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. Oh my God. Rise, ye crownless kings. A reckoning is upon you. A war of the icons. You know what, man? You know what? Oh, that's just not soon enough. You could say what you want about Final Fantasy and and Creative Business Unit Three, but they know how to do a trailer. And my God, I, I, I. I haven't thought about FF16 in a while, and now I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped for this. That was amazing. That's one of the best trailers I think they've done for the game. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back and hopefully I remember everything I, I see. But you just see the parallels, like, in, in the world. This looks like, it. It seems like Yoshida was like. I mean, it's fairly. I mean, it's fairly obvious. It's like it, it, the, what he's created with Final Fantasy fourteen has gone. If I could had, do Final Fantasy fourteen, but with a single player story, how would I do it? And it's clearly this, and it looks stunning. And I guess if you're, I mean, if you're a fan of FF fourteen, this is everything that you could want. A fan of FF fourteen and Final Fantasies, because they, they are di different, I suppose. Um, this is going to be something that you, you're going to relish. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this. Like, even just this aesthetic. You you see that in the world um, in FF14. Um, and, like, the particular choice of every voice actor um, in this trailer um, for the Western release, I suppose, the Western English release, are all British or UK voices which is what it is like in ff14 but obviously there's so uh, there's different dialects like you could see there's not like northern accents there's the accents that are kind of like southern much like my own um more you know london cockney kind of accents they kind of have that breadth of color within british voices throughout this which is kind of very similar to what they do in ff14 um let's keep going Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What else was there? I mean, come on, man. That looks exactly something. Like, if you if I were to show you that picture and said, "Oh, that's an Endwalker," you'd be like, "Oh yeah." Well, that's one of the towers in Endwalker. You'd be like, "Yeah, but I believe it." Yeah, but it isn't. But it, you could see where the DNA has crossed, and it's just very, very enjoyable to to see. Like, what else have we got? And the crystal towers. I mean, come on. That. Is stunning. I mean, I like you know previous Final Fantasies. I think my favourite is probably Ten. Um, but I've played a few of them, not all of them, uh, but I've played a few of them, and I do know that that people do enjoy the kind of mix of the sci-fi ness in Final Fantasies, like you get in Thirteen, I think. Um, 
but for me like this medieval aesthetic this this more focus on magic and less focus on magic tech is i love that and I, I do wonder if there will be any sort of magic tech in this game any sort of like Galean type of race i don't know it doesn't look like it from what we've seen so far but you never know uh yeah i mean look at that that is beautiful <sighs> I guess because it's going to be difficult, like, go and watch this trailer on your own monitor because obviously I'm going to be rendering it and it's going to go into YouTube, it's going to look poo-poo. Go look at it. That The colours and the depths of the blues in that crystal is incredible and I love how every single faction has their own set of, like, crystals that they're clearly drawing power from. Um, And the, the, the factions as well, I, can't, I mean, like, obviously... Kind of building off of um in f14 you do have the grand companies and obviously it's, it's a much small much much smaller scale than what they're presenting here because obviously no one's actually you know against each other and it's all very very friendly and it's kind of more of an aesthetic choice really than anything but this i mean i love i love this i mean just having the opportunity to explore these areas and this law and the fact like we've got desert one you know it's like very similar to all dar i do a lot of it is destroyed, though, which is very interesting. I'm wondering why. Um, obviously, a, a very clear, you know, South Asian or Middle Eastern influence to to this aesthetic that they've presented. Um, and then we've got a big, big boy, big, big boy. I mean, I mean, I look, big, bulky desert man reminds you of Raban. <laughs> so you know it, it just you could see it i think he has a northern accent as well actually our wise rulers has goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might no he doesn't okay so that's never mind never mind not completely not completely uh but yeah but i love this i love this and i love how there's more i mean these guys look really really interesting and th these purple, this purple crystal, extremely dark area. And then you have, we have this guy appearing who looks strikingly like the Warrior of Light. And But I, I'm sure that's obviously not done on purpose. Or maybe it is a bit of a homage. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Um, but no, I doubt it. He's just got a very similar haircut as well. But he appear he appears like a like an Asian. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I wonder what that's about. Very interesting. Very very interesting. And then obviously we go back to here to the the the, the Borals and we uh, we see. I think that is. I mean, it was in the initial trailer, but I don't think we've seen blood like splatter like this in any Final Fantasy game before. Not that I can remember, at least, um, which just shows how much of a mature direction they're taking with it, which is just mad. I mean, let's skip a little bit forward because that's in uh, trailers, and then we see the the icons, as they're calling it in this game, uh, appearing that people embody. He embodies the Phoenix and Titan. I'm guessing is this one. Looks like it. Is that? I'm wondering because I know there's lancers in the game, so I'm wondering if there's any other job influence. Because I'm thinking, like, is that is that a katana? Is that is there gun blades? Is there or is it just you know knights and lancers kind of fit the work with it? This is when everybody's screaming, and their DNA is forming into an icon. That looks so cool. I mean, the, the combat looks extremely fluid. Um, and that, that is, that, this just looks like a trial, you know, um, F14 trial, you're on your classic platform, they're stood off of the platform, and they're massive, and then you've got all the AoE and stuff to dodge, which is, yeah, Garuda? Damn. Wow. Yeah, there's a bit more about it and the book closes i believe but then we can see all of the the icons odin you can see as well all uh as we pull out into the logo 
fantastic absolutely fantastic i i genuinely cannot wait for this game and i'm genuinely buying a playstation 5 just for this game and we're going to play this game and we're going to stream this game and it's going to be amazing and i'm really looking forward to it i mean i've always always loved final fantasies and i remember playing 15 and being playing through the entirety and i played through it when it came out and i was just like i left a bit disappointed not because i guess i was disappointed because the game had so much potential and it felt like if the game had a little bit longer in the oven it would have been an incredible game it was a great game that i really enjoyed but it just wasn't you know it didn't live up to what it could have been in my opinion for ff15 so i'm really hoping that ff16 does that by the look of the trailer and by the look of how much you know dedicated time and effort um and quality control creative business unit 3 put into ff14 i'm hoping that we have a really incredible smooth experience when the game comes out and i have a feeling that if it you know if it follows like suit of what we've experienced in ff14 this could be one of the best final fantasies ever i don't know i guess we'll have to wait and see i mean do you disagree do you do you agree let me know in the comments what are you looking forward to most about this game also let me know in the comments as well um but anyway let's let we'll close this video here um as you know nothing else to say too much but i just i i love it and i cannot cannot wait to play this game <sighs> anyway thank you all so much for watching everyone please do like this video and subscribe and if you have any other suggestions for things you want me to look at uh other games whatever please put it in the comments below and we can have a go at that but, but anyway as i said thank you all so much for watching and i am looking forward to seeing you in the next one thank you very much Bye bye